How would it be if a jail is made, where all the prisoners are superpower stuck villains? If one of them has the power to control the electricity, then someone has the power to disappear, from one place and go to another place. Someone who has the power to control people's minds. Because if everyone stays under the same roof, then what is going to happen here? We will find out this in today's story. The film starts by showing a parking area in an underground place. Where there was a group of superpower villains, who were killing one of their own companions. Because they had sent their companion to kill a goon, who was their target. He didn't kill him but just killed his daughter and came. And now the same goon came here with a gun. Suddenly he rained bullets on them. Due to which a lot of superpower villains are killed there. But two of them had bulletproof power. That is, such a power that the bullets did not affect them. They first saved themselves from him. Then they started fighting with the goon by their hands. They were jumping and beating the goon. But the goon who was very brave and powerful. He first holds one's hand and breaks his arm. Then he kicks his face and ends his life. He hits the second one hard on the ground. Due to which he also died there. And in the end, he also kills the man who killed his daughter. Suddenly, there was a burst of gunfire. With which a lot of police cars come there. And they arrest the goon. Then it was shown that some time ago, there was a destruction in the whole world. Whose name was Pulse. Everything was destroyed. This happened because at that time, nuclear weapons were used in wars. Due to which nuclear radiation, which was very dangerous, spread in the world. Due to which there was devastation. Also, a lot of people lost their lives. Now it is obvious that due to this, all the resources of the world were finished from the world. Resources mean those things that meet the needs of life. And now for the remaining resources. People all over the world are fighting with each other. Now those who had survived. Due to radiation, there was a change in their bodies. There were such changes in their bodies. That everyone had superpowers. Due to which they became very powerful. But these people misused their powers. They tried to get the remaining resources. They used their powers in such a way, that they destroyed everything. Due to which there was devastation everywhere. Now to deal with this situation. The government made a law, through which they made such a super jail. Where these superpowers villains had to be kept. And because that goon had also killed more than 50 prisoners. That's why he was also given this punishment. That now he will also be kept in this super jail forever. Now a man was taking care of this super jail who was actually the boss of the guards. There was a rumor about him that he is very greedy. He gets so attached to the prisoners, that he gives them hope to escape from here. And in return, he takes a lot of money from them. After which he helps them escape. Now when the guards boss's interview was going on here, then he makes everyone believe, that all these rumors about me are false. No prisoner can escape from jail while I am there. And now all the super villains, and goons are brought to that jail in a bus. Looking at the goon, it seemed, as if he was very happy to come here. He wanted to come here, so that he can kill more super villains. There was also a good prisoner among these prisoners, who was not dangerous at all. His name is Diego, he was not dangerous, because he did not have any such power. Due to which devastation was created. In fact, he had the ability to feel the emotions and pain of others. But that poor man was arrested for this accusation, that he has caused harm to a man. Now the guards take the identity of the prisoners, and put handcuffs on their hands and feet. That is, handcuffs, so that by using their superpowers, they couldn't create a ruckus in the jail. Due to which there is chaos here. While explaining all this, the boss also stops them. He even threatened them, after which all the prisoners were brought in the ground. Here the goon met a prisoner, who was brought here before. That prisoner was very angry with the goon, because his brother was killed by the goon. Now they challenged each other to fight, and started fighting each other. They were fighting normally with the punches. But that prisoner, as soon as he started attacking the goon, he backed off. And now the goon first punched him on the face. Then he drops him down and kicks him hard. Due to this, that prisoner lost the fight due to a lot of injury. Before the goon kills him, the guards, with the help of the handcuffs, give him the electricity shocks. Due to which the goon stopped. He immediately falls down. Then that female guard came, who beats the goon a lot with punches. And now he and the injured prisoner are sent for treatment. Now all the guards were enjoying their fight. The reason was that they were not stopped before. The boss was also enjoying watching this fight. Here Diego meets such a prisoner, who had the power to control electricity. He tells Diego that I am the first prisoner to come here. Along with that, he also told Diego some rules of living in jail. Now, the most famous and dangerous prisoner here, whom everyone knew, Diego tries to know about him, because he was very fond of meeting that dangerous prisoner, 
Goon's name is Lo, and he has the power to control anything with his brain. Even the human brain, the person whom love makes his prey. He controls that person's brain, due to which he is forced to take his life. That's why that prisoner tells Diego, that no one knows about his dangerous powers. So you stay away from Lo. Now that day, Lo was taken in a dark room. The boss called him, because he wanted to talk to Lo alone. Here the boss starts talking to Lo. He said that I would retire very soon. So now you, do my work as soon as possible. That is, send all the money from your account to my account. Which you stole in the bank robbery. Here the boss clearly threatens Lo. That if you don't obey my order, then I will kill you. Now we were shown the jail hospital, where the wounded goon was being treated. Now here we see a very strange prisoner patient. Although he had no head, but he was still alive. The doctor was taking samples from his brain, because a new head was coming out of there. Because that prisoner had this power, to regenerate himself, that is to create him again. Now Diego also comes to clean up, and because he didn't look dangerous, that's why the doctor started talking to him, and she started telling him about herself. After which she went to the next room, to check Lo, that then the goon also comes here. He caught the doctor and strangles her, with which the poor girl is killed there. And now he went ahead to kill Lo, before he could kill him. Here Diego also comes, and he forbids him to do this. But the goon doesn't listen. Now he starts beating Diego, but he saves himself, and he catches the goon. He attacks him and hits him hard on the ground, and by doing this he saved Lo's life. Now this news spread all over the jail, with which everyone was very impressed with Diego's bravery. Now every prisoner starts respecting him, because he saved Lo's life by showing his skills. Some people even give him some of their food. Of course Lo was also very happy with all this. Now he calls Diego to him and thanks him. Now because Diego was getting respect from Lo, so he was also very happy. There the boss's partner found out about his deal. What he did with Lo. That is, after getting money in his account, he will release Lo. So now his partner asks the boss about this. Here the boss tells her that if you keep this secret, then I will have your promotion. That is, your job will be more developed. But if you reveal my secret in front of everyone, then I will get you out of the job. Now it is known that the first prisoner has been here for 10 years. And since then he used to apply for his bail again and again. But the court always rejected his application. That is, this law gives justice to everyone. So often injustice is also done with prisoners. After a few days, he gives the application again. Where he was presented in front of the court again. This time, he had a lot of hope of getting bail. But he gets annoyed with the court's stupid questions. He got very angry. He stood up from there. Because of which his application is rejected once again. Which made him very sad. While Lo was planning to escape from jail. Now the first prisoner who did not get bail. He was sitting in anger. At that time, one of his companions comes and gives him a small thing like a cutter. So that he might use it as revenge for his dissatisfaction. By which the atmosphere of chaos becomes everywhere in the jail. He agreed to it. With that he cuts the locks of his cuffs and removes them. Then he climbs on a table. He takes a long wire of electricity from the tube light there. With the help of which he kept charging himself. As soon as this happened, electricity began to shine in his eyes. He was also able to control the electricity with his hands. Using which he first attacks a guard. And then he spoils the entire jail's electricity system. As soon as this happened, the cuffs of all the prisoners which were locked, were disabled. That is, they stopped working. As soon as this happened, all the prisoners became free, and started fighting each other, because of which there was chaos there. Seeing this, the boss tells his companion, to turn on the generator quickly, so that when electricity is generated, the cuffs will get stuck again. He did the same, the generator turns on. As soon as the electric power came, the cuffs of the everyone were locked, and then they were controlled by a spark of electricity, and are closed in their own cells. Now all the prisoners were in their own cells, but the first prisoner was not there. He was in the hospital here, about which an officer finds out. She goes there and attacks him from behind, with which he falls down. Now, the boss orders the officer to kill him, because all this drama happened because of this. The officer did the same. She attacks him many times, with which he finally lost his life. Now along with him, about 12 prisoners were killed in this destruction. But the boss keeps this a secret from everyone. Now, the boss calls Diego to meet him, and when he went, he showed Diego the torture chamber. That is, a place where the prisoner is beaten a lot. He is tortured, with which his condition is about to die. The biggest problem is that time also passes very slowly, 
Now, the boss thinks Loeb responsible all this destruction. That's why he asks Diego about him. Because Diego and Loeb were very close to each other. Also, he wanted to know more information about Loeb. He tells Diego to tell me everything about Loeb and his next plan. Otherwise, I will send you to this torture chamber. Then Diego tells him everything. But because there was no special information in it. So he sends Diego back. And when he came to Loeb, he was told. Don't ever think about running away from here. Instead, put all the money in the account as soon as possible. And now because Loeb had no other way to run. That's why he agrees to compromise with the boss. He also said this. But for this, I need some time. The next day, the companion of the boss, and an electrician came to the basement. To fix the electric system. While all the prisoners had an envelope. Which was from their families. In which everyone's favorite things were mentioned. Loeb makes a plan to run again. That's why he took the tablet. And through the internet, he installed a dangerous virus. So that he can hack the security system here. That is, he can run it under his control. There, the goon had made a cross mark on his face. And he went to fight that prisoner again. With whom he had a fight earlier. But this time he refuses to fight. Diego came to meet Loeb. He says that if you are planning to run away from here. Then take me with you. Now the day, the boss was retired. That day it was found out. That now instead of him, the boss of the goons is another man. Not his companion, with whom he had made a deal. That I will give you a promotion deal. With this, she gets very angry. She comes to the boss and says, that you had shown me so many dreams. But now make someone else boss. But he tells her a few things and sends her away. And now he goes to Lo. He gives him the tablet again, which he had taken back. Says, take this tablet. And now quickly send all the money to my account. Taking the tablet, Loeb started working on it. The boss was very happy. That how easily he is sending the money to my account. By listening to me. But he did not know. That the virus that Loeb had installed in the tablet. Because of that, he hacked the entire security system. Due to which the effect of the cuffs was over. And once again all the prisoners were freed. They started fighting each other. Due to which there was devastation. All the prisoners started using their superpowers with the help of which they were killing the guards. Along with that, they had also put their prisoners aside. They were fighting with them badly. Now because of all this, Diego's condition began to deteriorate. Because he was tolerating everyone's pain. Then a doctor comes and talks to him. Now when the boss was near Loeb, then his companion immediately calls him, and informs him about this sudden commotion. After hearing this, the boss was very nervous. He says, I am coming. I will handle all the control. But now when he tried to know the truth about Loeb, then the door was locked. Because Loeb has done this, it seemed that the main role of his escape plan was the boss. Now the situation of the jail was getting worse. Because someone, with his dangerous powers, was burning the other person. So someone was taking out the poisonous smoke from his mouth, and killing everyone. Although these superpowers prisoners, were being controlled by the guards. But no one was coming under their control. Now, seeing the situation getting out of control. The captain calls the boss's companion, and asks about its solution. She says that this is the fault of the security system. And if you want to fix it, you will have to go to the basement. As the full security system of the jail runs onto the generator there, the generator is turned off. And if it is restarted again, as soon as the security system is fixed, everything will be fine. So that's why the captain goes to the basement as she says. To restart the generator, the companion of the boss was also guiding him. They were talking to each other through radio. But as soon as he went to the basement, the signals became weak. Their call was disconnected. And now the companion of the boss, can't tell him what to do next. But here the captain started using his mind. He also found the generator. But before he could start, a prisoner came here. Whose face had now turned into a dangerous creature. Although the captain hid after seeing him. But that prisoner found him. He attacks the captain and hits him on the ground. Which injures him. Then he picks him up and starts killing the captain again. He puts him next to the wall and grabs his face. Before he takes his life, the captain saves himself. He hits a pipe with a rod, which broke it. The hot air coming out of it. As soon as it falls on the face of the prisoner, he dies there. The boss sat in front of Loeb, and he was actually waiting. When will the process of money transfer be completed? And now as soon as this process is completed, the boss becomes very happy. While Loeb tells him, that I have another ability other than controlling the mind. Which no one knows. And that is, that I can change my mind with the other person. This is how he changed his mind with the boss. That is, now there was boss's mind in Loeb. 
and in the boss, that is, in his body, there was was Loeb's mind. Because this was the only way to escape from this prison, Loeb had no problem with that. Whose body am I? He is just happy with this. That at least I am running away from here. And now Loeb, who is in the boss's body, kills his own body. Because it was obvious that now the boss was in him. And in this way, he also made the boss unconscious. There the captain had restarted the generator, so that the cuffs started working again. So that now the boss, that is, Loeb, stops all the prisoners by giving electric shocks. And he locks them back in the cell. That is, he had taken all the control. And now he comes out and orders. Loeb that is, the boss must be sent to the torture chamber. Because this was the form of the boss. That's why thinking the boss is Loeb, is put in the torture chamber. While Loeb came out and met his companion, he makes her promotion here. That is, now she'll be the next boss of the guards. And Loeb went in the form of the boss from here. While his companion runs the jail in her own way, she brings a lot of good changes in the system here. Diego's punishment was over. He was left for a long time. Because his powers were not harmful to anyone. Along with that, Loeb's companion was also released. And now here again the boss, that is Loeb, comes. He actually came to pick these two. Who were his companions? Now as soon as Loeb's companion and Diego sit in the car, these three decide to live a good and happy life. A lot of money had also come in their account. And now to start their life again, they left from there. And with this, the story of this film ends here.